Now that you have Sebastian here, how about tell us about uh, tell us about Sebastian? Maybe both of you could tell us the music playing during the survivor's testimony. To me, that's one of the most uh, powerful moments of the film. What music is that? Well, actually, then. That's okay. the only piece we didn't cry. Oh, okay. Okay. That was the wrong. <laughs> no, but there is, a, there is a story there. Because, uh, my brother had sent me a CD uh, um, as inspiration for this film. And as brothers are, I never listened to it. <laughs> and uh, then he, and as my brothers, he said, like, why don't you listen to it? So I listened to it, and there was a song. And we actually, we had this, it was always clear that it was going to be mute, the testimony, because that was the concept of that scene. So we needed uh, music for layout. Layout music is when, you know, when you edit, you put in music that then gets exchanged for the original score. So first we tried Mozart, like mm -hmm. Mozart, but it was working, but it was totally inappropriate. And then we had this song, and, and I remember the song, and we put it on, and it fit perfectly. And because the scene in itself, it's not, they are not actors, they're extras. Mm -hmm. it, like as a filmmaker, it was really being very humble, you know, they, they, we really stepped back and suddenly we realized that, and I think we all agreed, I mean, Nikki, uh, Sebastian and I and the producers, that it was a perfect song and it was actually a, a song from, a, from Toronto, from a synagogue, and so we wrote the cantor and we said, we have made this film in Germany, would you please give us the rights to this song, and they did, and, and that's why it's in the film. And Sebastian, perhaps you could discuss some of the composition for the rest of the film, because one of the things that took me, obviously, it's the whole masterpiece that's done with the film. However, the composition really gives it another life of itself, the emotion, the feeling, everything. Could you tell us the process of development? Well, first of all, um, it was Nikki, Isa, and me. First there was Nikki, and then I came aboard. Um, that was actually a very thematic approach, really. Like um, we we tried to um, see where the most important and emotional parts of the movie are, and then we worked very closely with Julio and and met every once in a while and um, tried different stuff, and also like. Uh, um, it actually was the first time for me to um, make this in the end of uh, like after the, re the recording of the score we, we met again and uh, sat down in the uh, editing suite and, and discussed if we want uh, what we would do with music if we maybe push it or how we would edit it to really make it fit and it, it was a question of frame sometimes it was, was really astounding really. Mm.